Hi, Sammy here, and I'm here to talk to you about uppercase letters Q and R. We're going to learn today that both of these letters are transformer letters. That means they start off as a letter that we already know, and then they transform into letters Q and R. I'm real excited, so let's look at what we need for today's activity. All right, uh, here are the supplies that we're gonna need. We're gonna need uh, one piece of this paper with these, uh, looks like some letters on it. And then we're gonna need two copies of these slides. And uh, you guys have actually done these before, but you know what, we're gonna do them again. So two copies of the slides. And then we need our dry, our dry erase marker, a whiteboard, and for today, we also need a crayon. Okay, so grab those supplies and let's get started. Okay, let's look at this worksheet here and um, we're also gonna need to grab our crayon. And what we're gonna do here is, uh, first we're gonna start over here on this side and we're gonna try to color just the O shape that we see. Um, so here, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So. There's a lot going on, but I want to just color that letter O. You remember how we did that last week? Or whenever you worked on it last? But hopefully you, you've, you've drawn some letter O's and you got pretty good at it. So, okay, here's one O. Nice job, nice job. And let's color this one down here. Let's color this O. Just the O. I'm going kind of fast here, but you you can uh, you can slow down, take your time. All right, so look, I've got two of the letter O's now, and uh, watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna color this little. This little stem part and watch what's going to happen it's going to transform into look there it is the letter q let's do that again here we go we're gonna color that little stem and wow it turned into the letter q so did you see how we started with the letter o and then it transformed into the letter Q. Okay, let's try that over here. Down home. Can anybody see the letter P? I want you just to color the letter P. <laughs> Remember, I'm doing this a little bit faster than I would normally, so I want you to slow down. And if you have to pause the video, well, you know what? Go ahead and pause that video. Okay, we got a P, and then we go down here and we, we do a P again. I'm going faster, but I want you to slow down and stop that video if you have to. Make sure we don't color inside here. This inside part should stay white. All right, there we go. Again, I hope you can do a better job than I do. Stay in the lines, take your time. Okay, look, we've got two letter P's that are green. And now, look, it's the same kind of a stem. So we're just gonna color that stem and look at this. Look at that, we, we transformed it into the letter R. Okay, here we go. One more time we're coloring that stem and look. We, we made it into a letter R. Now, uh, I've got a really important question for you boys and girls. Um, that little stem that we colored, was that a straight up and down line? Or was that a fun sliding line? Remember we're talking about just this stem right here. Did anybody say a fun sliding line? If you did, you're right. Okay, and speaking of sliding lines, uh, let's go practice some of those on that sliding piece of paper. Okay, we've done this one before, so uh, 
I hope you guys are uh, really good at this and I want you to think about where we're sliding from. We're sliding from the skyline down to the grass line. You can do this with your crayon or a pencil, really anything you want. So we're gonna start at this, the plane line and we're just gonna slide on down, wee, down to the grass line, stop at the grass line. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start at this, the plane line. And here we go, we're gonna slide on down to the grass line. Great job, here we go, one more time. This is so much fun. We're gonna start at the plane line and we all the way down. Okay, do that one more time on your other slide piece of paper. You can do that all by yourself. And then when you're done with that, grab your whiteboards and let's start working on the letter Q. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make the letter Q now. And does anyone remember what letter I should start with? Hmm. I said it a little bit earlier. Think about those that coloring we did. It looks like a circle. Did anyone say the letter O? Remember when we make the letter O, we start on the skyline. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna stay on that skyline a little bit. We make that great big magic C. And we keep going around after we touch the grass line and back to where we started. And now we're gonna transform it into a Q. All we have to do is draw that sliding line. Oh, we're gonna start from the plane line and slide down to the grass line. Wow, look at that. Let's do one more of those. Now, uh, boys and girls, we talked a little bit about spacing before. If I, is this a good place to start my next cue right here? It's pretty close to that first cue, I don't know. I think we'd be better moving way over. And if that means we only have to make, we only have enough room to make two cues, well, so be it. Okay, so we're gonna start on the skyline, stay on the skyline, stay on the skyline, and start curving down, touch the grass line, make that letter O. And then all we've gotta do is make our sliding little stem from the plane line down to the grass line. Okay, great job. Let's erase these and we'll do we'll do two more. Okay, so we're, we're gonna do two more here. We're gonna start with our letter O and we actually start with the letter C. It's, this is a lot of transforming going on. We start at the skyline, stay on the skyline for a little bit and then curve down to the grass line. See how I stay on the grass line for a little bit? I come on back up, make that letter O. Okay, now we're gonna transform it. Plane line, slide down to the grass line. Okay, let's do one more. Here we go. Give myself some room. Watch how I stay on the skyline. Now I come down, touch the grass line. Come on back up. I got my letter O and now here we go. Transform, plane line, slide down to the grass line. Great job. Okay, now let's, uh, now let's start working on the letter R. Okay, we know R is also a transformer letter and who can tell me, uh, is anyone, can anyone tell me what letter we're gonna start with? Think about those coloring sheets we did. Did anybody say the letter P? Uppercase P. And he starts on what? Remember, he's a tall letter, so he's gonna start at the skyline. And pull down to the grass line. Should I retrace or should I frog jump? I hope you said frog jump, woo! And then I make my bubble down to the plane line. Okay, I've got a nice P. Check that it starts at the skyline and it ends at the grass line. And then right here, there's a lot going on here and we're, we're gonna take our marker and we're gonna make that sliding stem down to the grass line. Okay, let's see if we can do two more of those. Here we go. Pull straight down, 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 down to the grass line. Frog jump all the way back to the top here at the skyline. Stay on the skyline a little bit, make our bubble. Go down to the plane line. And then here we go. We're gonna slide down to the grass line. Okay, 
Let's uh, let's see if we can do see if we can do a few more here. Start at the skyline, pull down, 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 down to the grass line, and then here we go. We're gonna make our bubble. Here we go. Looks good. And then here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna slide down in the grass line. Oh wait, that doesn't look the same as the others. What happened? Oh, I think I see it. Do you see it? Look, yum, 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 yum. I can fix that up. I went too far with my sliding line. Okay, I'm gonna try to get one more in here. Start at the skyline. Pull down, 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 down. Frog jump up. Make a bubble to the play line. And there's my letter. Oh, whoa, that's a, that's a really long P. Hmm. I went down and touched the worm line. And I don't know if I should have done that. Let me think. Let's think what we say. We say uppercase letters are tall letters, and that means they go from the sky line to the grass line. So I think I went too far. I'll just raise this. Yum, 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 yum. And then all I've got to do for my last, my last little bit here is transform it with that sliding line. We're going to slide from the plane line to the grass line and stop. All right, we are all done. Great job. This made me a little hungry. Yum 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 yum